guys what's up welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new here happy freaking new year it's 2024 and i'm just now realizing as i'm saying this that this is the first video that i filmed in the new year that was completely not what i intended but unfortunately starting january 1st i came down with some health issues and it has been an uphill battle i feel like 2024 is kicking my ass a little bit in the beginning because the rest of the year is just going to be cake right like it's just going to be amazing like that that's like the mentality that i have like it just needed to get some shit out of the way and then we're going to have like a great year i am still not 100 percent, so i'm going to try to make this video not as long um although it is my first video of 2024 and i really have missed being on here with you guys and just chatting and all the stuff so uh, I might run my mouth a little bit too much, but my body's just, it might not let me. So we'll see how that goes, but I'm really excited about today's video because we have a list here of books that I can't believe that I haven't read yet that are just, I think about it and I get a little bit of embarrassment that I haven't read these books yet. Some of these books, like why haven't I read them? It's just, you have so many books and so little time. And we have talked about this before. I guess I am on like the lower end of books that I read. I mean, I'm completely fine with the amount of books that I read each year, but I don't read as much as some other booktubers do. But that's besides the point. I'm digressing yet again. Let's get into this video because I do have a pretty healthy list here of books that I'm a little bit embarrassed that I haven't read, but mostly it's just like I look at these and I think Jennifer why like why have we not read this i'm shaking myself why have we not read these we need to read these so without further ado let's go ahead and get into these books so i can just be completely embarrassed right off the bat let's go ahead and start with two books that i thought that i was going to get to before the end of last year and they're on this list so obviously i did not but our two books that i plan to read very soon. One being Between Hello and Goodbye by Emma Scott. I feel like there's a little bit of hype around this and that's where my hesitancy comes into play. I don't think that I'm going to be disappointed. I hope not anyway, but it's also the first book that I will be reading of Emma Scott. So I think that's where a little bit of that lies. And the other, which I really don't have any hesitancy of reading, um, and that is Lyrics of Her by Karen Crompton. Again, this is going to be for is a new to me author. I haven't read anything by Karen Crompton yet. I think that I haven't read this one yet because it is part of a series and I feel like I should read them consecutively, which is a problem that I have where I'll start a series and then I read other books intermittently and I just need to like stick with that series, um, which we'll talk about a little bit later on. But Again, I don't have any hesitancy. I think a little bit of it has to do with I wasn't ready to like immerse myself in the, this series. It's an interconnected series, so like not like it's going to matter, but I'm trying really hard to, if I start a series this year, I want to, as much as I can, stick with it. Like if it's a new series or all the books aren't out, like I understand that, but if most of the books are out or the series is complete, I want to the best of my abilities, stick with that until it's completed, if that makes sense. Let's go ahead and move on because like I said, this list is pretty big. That being said, I forgot to mention, this is by no means like all of it. There are a lot of books that I want to read. Obviously, like as a reader, we're constantly putting books on our TBR and I have a very big TBR. These are just books that have been on the TBR the longest or books that just really spoke to me books that were hyped books that for whatever reason at the time that I put it on my TBR just mean something um and stand out the most if that makes sense so of course there are other books and I will probably be editing this video and thinking of more books that should have been on this list but we're just gonna go with these um because otherwise we'd be here all day these are we're going to keep, we're going to keep going and you'll understand. So the next book that I want to talk about that I'm a little bit embarrassed that I haven't read yet is The Choice by Ashley Jade. This is basically like the spinoff of The Words. We meet the characters in The Words and this is, there's three of them. This is their story. 
this one's a little bit different because I have not read this one specifically because I wanted to read the choice and the consequence, which is this is basically a duet. Um, and I wanted to read these together. And the consequence was supposed to be out last year. Um, Ashley Jade's going through some stuff. So, and that is completely fine. So I'm just waiting. I am waiting until the consequence comes out and then I will read both of them together. But I'm itching to read this. So it's on the list. Next up is My Dark Vanessa. This one has been on my list for many, many years. Um, and I just, I think this is one of those where I want to be in the right mindset to read it. And I, honestly, like at this point, it's just like, just read it, <laughs> like get it over with, figure out if we like it or not, you know, kind of thing. But it is on my list. The next one, this gives me a, like a little bit higher up on the more embarrassment uh, scale. And I have like two from this author. Um, the first one being a trilogy that is, I'm so embarrassed, The Grip Trilogy by Kennedy Ryan. I know it has been on my TBR a few times last year where I was like, I'm going to read it. I haven't read it. I really, really want to read this. I think I didn't read it. Like first, I didn't read it because I had never read anything by Kennedy Ryan. So I wanted to read something by her and kind of get into like her writing style really loves her writing style. So I was like, I definitely want to read the Grip Trilogy. But again, and then I think it was, I didn't read it because it is a trilogy and there is also a lot of hype around this as well. But I plan, I just, I really would like to, to tackle most, if not this list this year. I, I don't see why I couldn't, but um, I definitely, I definitely want to get to this this year. And then along the same lines of Kennedy Ryan, I really like to read The Long Shot. This has a lot to do with domestic violence, and it would have been really great for me to read um, in October with Domestic Violence Month, but I just, I had so much going on in October, like, that just, it wasn't going to happen, so. Yeah, I'm like, the, the, this is like a little bit higher up on the embarrassment scale, but Okay, next up, I have basically Jesse Hall's backlist. I freaking loved Hawk. Fell in love with her writing. She is a new-ish author, um, and she doesn't have a big backlist, but she's coming out with um, her new, I think it's going to be a series, Greenlight is what it's called, and there's not much about it out right now, but from what we do have about it, I mean, it's Jesse Hall and, like, the writing, her writing, ugh, I just... If you haven't read anything by her, like, please do. Please do. Because she's coming out with that. She came out with um, the first book in a new series at the end-ish of last year, which is The Canary Cowards. I can't remember what that series is going to be called, but I haven't read that either. And I think that I have I have a few books coming to me, and I think this, that sick love is in it. So I want to get to the rest of the backlist that I haven't read from her I would like to do that before I start her new series or the new book, The Green Light. Um, and that one, right now, it doesn't even have a release date yet either. So we'll see. Okay, next up, the, oh, this one. All right, next up, I have One Last Rainy Day by Kate Stewart. Now, if you have read the Raven Hood trilogy, then you might understand why I haven't read this book yet. This is one that I have to kind of psych myself up for because it is basically getting into the mind of Dom and there's not much that I can say because if you haven't read Ravenhood, like I'm not spoiling anything for you, but if you've read it, then you understand. He is one of my favorite characters of the trilogy, one of my favorite men of that series and getting to revisit him and just emotions. Do you know what I mean? Emotions. So I was, I'm, I'm not ready yet. So, but we'll, we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. So let's just tug on the heartstrings, get it over with and, and move on. So let's move on to the next book that I am a little embarrassed that I haven't read yet. And that is A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Mass. Why haven't I read this one yet? Actually, I think I have a pretty good reason why I haven't read this one yet. Obviously, this entire series got lot of hype last year like more than it did when it first came out I 
of course, like TikTok and all that wasn't out. Book talk, all that was not out that time whenever whenever this series came out first. And of course, A Court of Silver Flame is the newest book that was released. But these books got a lot of hype when they first came out. And that's when I read them. So it has been years since I have read all of these books. And I feel like I almost need to revisit those books and then read A Court of Silver Flames. But I mean, as you guys know, like these are chunky books and I just, I haven't been in the mindset to revisit that yet. I, I would like to cut out some time to do that maybe um, this year, we'll see. But I have not read A Court of Silver Flames yet. Moving right along, this is another series that I haven't read. Um, <laughs> Why? I, I, I have no words as to why. I have not read the Wendy series by Liz Tom Ford. In fact, I have not read anything by Liz Tom Ford. This gets great hype. Booktubers and uh, book reviewers that I know and that I trust recommend these. I'm, I'm not shying away because of the hype. It's just I haven't picked it up yet and I don't know why. But like the tropes that it has in it and it just I, I feel like I may really enjoy this. Uh, Liz Tom Ford is one of the authors that I've put on my 2024 goals of new to me authors to read for the year. So maybe we'll get there. <laughs> okay, let me take a quick water break and then we'll continue. Okay, let's move on to actually, yep, I have another series here. I, I'm, I am embarrassed that I haven't read this one yet. Uh, and it is the entirety of the Midnight Mayhem series by Amo Jones. <laughs> Why? Like, I don't know. She just released the first book in her new series, which is like a spinoff series of the Elite Kings. So basically, like, we're dealing with their children. One of my favorite series of all time. I I just like the way that her mind works. I, I love the twists and turns. I love the way that you find other things in other books that are like little Easter eggs. And she's just, I just love, her mind is crazy. And I absolutely love it. She is chef's kiss. I absolutely love it. Cannot wait to pick up with the children of the Elite Kings. I am definitely not going to wait to read this new series um, until I finish the May uh, Midnight Mayhem series. But I, I need to get to it. You know what I mean? But essentially, I could stay in the world of Amo Jones for quite some time. And I think that's another reason why I haven't done that. Because like I said earlier, this is, yes, it is a bit of an interconnected series, but it's more of a continuation. Like there's interconnected series, there's continuation series. And then there's, I feel like there's like a mixture of both. This is what would be a mixture of both. And I would definitely want to stay in that world when reading these because of just because of the way that she writes because of all the twists and turns like you could you would want to stay basically I just can't believe I haven't read these yet um so maybe maybe we'll see moving on Madam by Sarah Kate I have not read Madam by Sarah Kate I honestly am a little scared to read this I think that's why I haven't read it yet I've gotten little snippets of what I think may be involved in this book and that almost is a turn off for me because it's already been done but I am also so intrigued by Eden that I just I, I just need to rip the band-aid off and I need to read it and see where it falls I, I don't think that I'm not gonna like it but I'm just scared I'm scared of this one so there it is this next book I can't believe that I haven't read I am just shocked that I haven't read this one yet. This one I will absolutely read in 2024 and in, in like pretty early off and that is Steve Ruin by Pam Godwin. I have the freaking book. I have been wanting to read this for like almost two years now and I haven't. Her new series that she's spent like years writing is about to come out and I need to get to this so that I can appreciate this new series that's about to come out. I don't think that I'm going to hate this. I think I'm absolutely going to love it. I just do not know why I have not read it. I, I do not know. I do not know. Next up I have, okay, so when was that? I feel like it was in the middle of last year that I read The Truth About Heartbreak by B. Celeste. 
I enjoyed that book. It was, I can't remember what I gave it. It was like a three or four stars. I enjoyed some parts more than others, but I did really enjoy this book. However, there are two books after this, and I believe that those two books follow the same couple. And this one really intrigues me because of not only the extreme age gap, but the relationship of this one. And I should have picked it up immediately after The Truth About Heartbreak, but I had these conflicting feelings about it, and I also wanted to read something else, so I didn't. And here we are months and months and months later, and I still haven't read this one, but I am really anxious to get to the next two books, which is The Truth About Tomorrow and The Truth About Us. I don't want to spoil anything, but just know that it's Extreme Age Gap, a Forbidden, and Taboo Romance, and I think it's going to be good. I just need to read it. I just need to read it. Next up, I have, what do I have next? I've lost my spot. Bear with me. Hold on a second. Where are we? Um, oh, okay. Happy Place by Emily Henry. I just haven't read it. I think I haven't read this one because I was looking specifically for the paperback and all I could find was the hardback and I also wanted a particular cover for it. So I don't know. I'm a little weird when it comes to covers sometimes, but I just haven't read it and I need to read it. So that's, that's it. That's what it is. Okay. Now we're getting into some more juicy ones here. This one has been on my radar for at least two years. I need to read it. I am going to read it. It's a part of a video that I want to do, recommendation video that I want to do for you guys. So I am going to read it. And that is Take Me With You by Nina G. Jones. This is extremely taboo. It's captured captive. Definitely want to check trigger warnings for this one. But I love when an author can take a context like this and create this story and this relationship. And because we are able to be in our character's heads we get to really see just so much. And I think that's just very interesting. And that's what intrigues me about this book. I I just, I can't wait to read it. And I think that's another thing. Like I hype these books up and I just want to love them so much. And I'm so scared, so, but so I don't read it because I'm too scared to read it. But I'm going to read this one because it's a part of the video that I'm doing. So, okay. Anyway, what's next? Oh, the Alliance series by S.J. Tilly. Really enjoy S.J. Tilly's writing. I've not read any book in this series. And, like, what is wrong with me? You know I like Age Gap. You know I like Mafia. Like, I love my over-the-top, crazy Mafia men. Oh, why haven't I read this? I don't know. But I need to. Again, I can go back to anything with series or interconnected series like this. It would be a one after the other type of thing for me. Like, that's how I'd want to do it. And I don't know why I'm so scared to just stay in a world. I don't know. Anybody have any thoughts? Like, why am I so scared to stay in a world? I have no idea. All right. The Fallen Men series. Oh, my God. Like, I've done good. I've read two more books um, in this series. But I still have... So she just came out with the last one. Uh, so I think I have three books left. Two or three. Uh, let's just go with three. Those books, I just, I feel like I'm almost sad to leave that universe. So I make it last as long as possible. <laughs> but there's like other shit that I want to read from her. And I will not until I finish the Fallen Men series. So I just need to get off my ass and read them. But I have done good. I've read two more. And I just, I enjoy them. I love those men. I love, I, who knows. Let's go to the next, which is just Jagger Cole. Jagger Cole all the way around. Um, I have not read anything by Jagger Cole. And I, I don't know why. Because, again, there is, like, the tropes are right up my alley. Uh, over the top alpha males, strong females, um, you know, just all, I don't know. But I was looking on his website, and let me tell you, he has got a backlist. Like, he has written a ton, which is both good and bad, because I get to dive into a lot from Jagger Cole, but bad because, like, that is a big backlist. I mean, like, it's pretty hefty. I did look at his suggested reading order, and 
honestly, because I haven't read anything from Jagger Cole yet, I think that I might just start there and just in, go that route. I know that it'll take me a while to get through up to where we currently are, but since I haven't read anything, like, just why not? Like, let's just start there. If I decide later on down the road that I want to jump to something else, like, I obviously can, but I feel like that's probably the best way to start. All right, so we are to my last book duet series thing, and that is, now, this is a part of a series. There are five books in the series, but I'm talking about, I, it's, I guess you would call it a duet. It's book one is part one and book two is part two. So let's just say it's a duet. Uh, so it is only book one and book two that I'm talking about. Of course, I'm not saying that I wouldn't read the remainder of the series, but specifically. This is dark. It's taboo. It's again, MC. Why? Haven't I read it? I don't know. But it is Torment, part one and part two by uh, Dylan Page. Again, this has been on my radar for a couple years, like since it came out, a couple years. See, these types of videos are good and bad for me because it really puts into perspective what I really want to read or what I really need to read. Um, but then also just, there's so many books, but I think that I can get a pretty good grasp on these for this year because there are a few of these books are in different videos that I plan to do for you guys this year. So, <laughs> whatever. But anyway, those are the books that I cannot believe that I haven't read yet. And, like, minor embarrassment because I haven't read them. You'll have to let me know which of these that you've read and which are your favorites or what books I absolutely need to get to right away because of my little health whatever at the beginning of this year um, I still am in the middle of figuring out my content for this year and what I want to do first and you know like what has priority and all that so but if there is something particular or a particular video that you guys want to see please write that in the comments I would love any advice or just any anything that you want to see for me I would obviously be happy to give to you. I do plan on doing some polls on community and Instagram uh, throughout the year, so be on the lookout for that. If this is your first time here, nice to meet you. Welcome. Um, it would mean so much to me if you would take a moment and subscribe and stay around for a little bit. I We have some fun stuff going on this year. I just need to get back to my old self, which we're getting there. We are getting there. I was actually able to sit and film this today without too much pain. So that's progress, you guys. A lot of progress. Anyway, again, if there's anything that you want to see from me that you haven't, write me a comment below. Let me know how 2024 is going so far for you. If there's anything that you've read that is just absolutely amazing and you need to talk about it, I want to hear about that as well. And well, that's going to be it. I will catch you guys on the next one. But until then, happy reading. Bye.